Hello and welcome to a My Education BC uh, video tutorial on setting up your gradebook. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to set the preferences. Uh, we're going to link classes that are the same so that you don't have to put in assignments for both. And we're going to create categories and we're going to create categories in two ways by importing if you used it last year or by creating new ones and then we're going to teach you how to add assignments. So let's get started. We're going to go to set preferences and just for sake of uh, speed I'm just going to show you what I have and talk about it for a very short amount of time. I like to shade alternate lines because then it's easier to read down the line. Uh, track it, administrator updates so that shows you if your administrator has changed anything. Tab direction down or up, so when you hit the tab, it will go down or across. Sorry. Um, enable gradebook features, assignments, uh, due date ascending. I I like to have my most recent due date near uh, their name. Show points in headers. Show category names and headers. Show student alerts. Anchor averages, show unscored, and then my default weighting is categories and assignments. You can do categories only, but this is kind of the standard as categories and assignments. So you can have a percentage of a category and the size of the assignment matters. Um, and then decimals, I like it at zero and provincial mark grading score. Now here's the important one, and it depends on the way your school has it marked but we want a cumulative average. So the average is always the cumulative, not just uh, the average of the term. And okay, so just hit pause if you wanna uh, check yours to make sure it's the same. So that is how you set preferences. Then you go to the gradebook tab and you're gonna pick your class. So I'm going to take um, my quarter one grade seven classes. Now, obviously, you can only check one at a time to start with. And when I check it, I'm going to be on details right away. And this is where uh, you're going to have a course nickname. So if you want, you could easily change this. For, so for me, I'm going to change this to IT7. Block one order one so i like that a lot better the average mode is categories and assignments gradebook default is fine for that and here's the important part here's where you are going to change this so you're going to add your other class so I'm looking for IT7 quarter one. So I'm linking only the ones that I do that. So then you have to enter a link name. So I'm going to go control C and control V just to copy and paste because I'm lazy, except I'm going to change this IT7 2015 quarter one. So that's a linked name. So then I'm going to save that. So that's how you link classes. And what do you want to link classes for? You want to link classes for things that you're going to have the exact same assignments or close to the exact same assignments because then you don't have to put mark assignments in for both of them and it saves a lot of time. All right. So that's the first one. Then you're going to click on categories. And you can see that I have no categories. So how do you make a category? You go to options add and here you'll have a description and a code a code is what's kind of you can call it the short name that's what they used to call it in bc east this is a short name so for me i might call it am for assignments and then i put assignments and now the weight you got to change this to either a percentage or a decimal so that the total weight is out of so if this was 70 percent of my mark i would put 70 4.7 it doesn't really matter um, 
then you choose a grade scale name, entry both. I like both because then you can put a, an A in or you could put a, a percentage so or a percentage or a points. So I like both because, um, you know, if you want to keep it a little bit more generic, not so exact, it's down to a percent, then you can do that. Then you say you're at most of my scores are out of five. So I would put a five and my weights would be one. Extra points, I usually have zero. And then do I want my assignments visible? This is important. I'm going to put public because uh, this year students are going to start using their MyEdBC and they're going to be able to look at it and I want them to be able to see their assignments. Um, and then I hit save. I'm not going to save. I'm going to go cancel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go options and import categories. All right, so that's how you do it. You go to Options, Import Categories, choose your class, say OK, then you choose All Categories, and then you can see the number of categories you got. So I'm going to hit Cancel because I already got it. So I've got Assignments, File Management, Information Technology Skills, and Working in a Flip Classroom, so I like a Work Habits mark. I got uh, seven. So I just didn't leave, left mine as a whole number, so the weight was 7, 1, 1, and 0. And there I have categories, ready to go. And those categories will be applied to both grade 7 classes. Now, from there, you're just going to start adding assignments. So I'm going to go to my class list, and I'm going to go to grade 7. Oh, and you can see this one, my other grade 7, I haven't changed the uh, short name of it. So I'm going to go IT7 block 2 Q1 for quarter 1 because my classes are a quarter. And I'm going to save. Alright, so now if I get on the gradebook top tab and I choose a class, and I'm going to choose a class that I actually already have the categories done in, some assignments in. Click on there, uh, and then I go to score. Well, first of all, I can add assignments from here by just going options and add assignment, but I usually just go to the scores, and then it shows all the scores I already have in, and then I can add assignments in one of two ways. I usually just use this one. You can also, from here, go Options, Add Assignment, or you can go Add Assignment from here. So I'm going to add an assignment from here, and this one is also going to be a, an assignment, which I have a short code of AM for, which I created. And my short name, or GB column name, is called the, uh, it's like the short name. So I'm just going to call it... Uh, BG1 and background one in Photoshop. Then I can set the date assigned and the assignment due date. Uh, I like to use just sequence numbers. I don't worry about this too much. You start with sequence numbers it really helps the very first assignment make sure you put a one there because uh, then it goes in order your total points is one uh, and now i can see i have a mistake on my category should because it should not have a weight of one because that's not the percentage of what it's used for that is um, if i thought the assignment was worth a lot I would make it a weight of two because maybe it takes two days to do this assignment and most assignments take one day then i would do that and this is a really actually a pretty short assignment it's less than a day so i'm going to go 0.6 something like that so it's not worth as much as the bigger assignments and it's got its sequence number in it's got its provincial mark scales entry mode now i like to have both 
because uh, an A, I believe, comes out at like 90%, and a, uh, a 5 out of 5 would come out as 100. So I like to add some A's, because it's something that's really, they've done a really good job on it, obviously. Um, whereas uh, sometimes I might want to give them a 5 if it's like amazing. So there you have how to add an assignment. Now, this is important. By default, this is usually checked. Um, but if you've got linked classes, which we did at the beginning of this tutorial, uh, you want that checked, so I don't have to put it in for both of my grade 7 classes. And I hit save. And voila, there it is. That's how you add an assignment. And just remember when you add a number, you can hit uh, tab if you want it to go, if you set it to go down or tab to go sideways. Um, it's really nice and handy. So that is how to link your classes, add categories, or possibly import categories, and actually add assignments. Thanks for watching.